will see a practical implementation of these knowledge modules and all everything now. Okay. So remember IKM, LKM, CKM. These are your life in the OEA. And uh, apart from this, uh, how will leverage them in a development and then how you start working, we'll see right now. Okay. Say for example, uh, I want to take some data from a database okay and then to load into another database table okay we have seen couple of examples say for example how So I'm going to create a new mapping. So we know mapping is a smallest to programmable unit in your ODI and where we can develop a logic. So I'm just going to create first mapping. Okay, so now that we know what are the use of knowledge modules and also we have imported the knowledge modules. <coughs> okay, and that all we are fine. So this is your mapping area. So to develop a mapping minimum, we need two components. One is the source and target because ETL or ELT, whatever it is, in whichever technology works, we will read and load in between do some logics. Forget about whether you are really doing some logics or not. To finish your program, we need a source from where you are reading and we need a target where you are loading. So that's why you cannot create any mapping without source or without target. Source is nothing but the place from where we are reading the data. Target is the place where you are loading the data. Depends on your requirement. In between, you can develop some logics. That is your optional. Maybe I, if I don't need any logic, I don't need. If I need some logic, I will develop. But these two are mandatory. Okay. So by dragging any object from the uh, left side, let's say, so I want to read data from this particular table. Okay. You can just go and drag the table over here. Because we already reverse engineer or imported the tables and then came over here. So this data I want to load to target. Already I have created one target table and uh, this is also in same database. So I am dragging over here. So by placing these two objects and uh, now you can decide okay, from which table you want to read. So, so I know that I want to read from, I want to read from here but ODA doesn't know who is source, who is target. So depends on the link only it will identify from where you are reading, where you are loading. So now this is the source and this is the target I want to read and load it. So we have seen in the first session when I'm taking the columns from here to here, there are multiple ways to link. One is you read from here, but which column to go to which column, which column to go to which column, and without any derivations, we are just taken and then loaded the data. Of, of course, some couple of hard coded values and all we have tried. Okay. So now here also I'm going to do same thing. So I'm just going to link from here to here. Okay. So this I can automatically, it will take me data and automatically link from here to here. Then we will finish. So this is, we already done. I am just repeating. So source and then. So by looking at the link, now ODI knows that. 
So this table is a source because your arrow is from the left to right. Okay, you are planning to read. So you'll have the op properties here. And when you go to target, okay, so you are a target, you have to decide whether you want to insert or incremental update or you want to slowly change that data. So till the time we discuss, okay, I will be going with the control append only and oh, after that we'll be moving into the next category. Okay, then if you go to physical objects, sorry, physical diagram, it will, it will show you how your how data movement can happen. Since both are in same, the diagram says that so both are in same bars, I can move from here to here directly. So then for this table I am choosing, okay, since you are taking and then trying to load into this target, so I have to choose which knowledge module you are planning. So here I am going to use one knowledge module. So you can use any of the knowledge module of your choice, depends on your requirement. All are going to insert, say, since I have chosen control append in the previous integration type, so you can see control append means insert, so it will show you the list of knowledge modules which can insert the data, okay. So IKM Oracle insert, IKM Oracle multi table, IKM multi insert and IKM SQL control and IKM SQL insert. So all knowledge modules will go and insert the data only. So right now I can choose, okay, any one of the options, okay, so but right now I am going to choose IKM SQL insert or I can choose IKM SQL control, you can choose anything, okay. So here yeah, my focus is not on the knowledge module, so right now first I will focus on how we can design, develop the logics, okay, then next phase will get into the knowledge module, okay. So now I am choosing IKM SQL insert and for this IKM SQL insert whenever you are choosing, if you want to keep any changes, okay. So whenever I came and I'm going to, it will in, take the data and then insert it. For that, whatever logics SQLs required will be generated by IKM SQL insert. When it is doing reading and loading, you can also configure. If your target table is not there, if you want to create, you can say yes. Okay, true. It will go and create the target table. But right now, it's not required because target table is already there, and. Uh, truncate target table. So before going to insert data into target, if you want to truncate the data, okay, you can choose it, otherwise leave it. So if I choose this option, means you are telling knowledge module that in your code generation also include this target table. So it will, before going to insert, it will truncate the target table and then invert. So every time, whatever I am going to insert will be fresh, you can see fresh data in the target. If you don't say truncate, let's say you are running this mapping for four times, all four times loaded data will be there in the target, you will get confused which record loaded what time. So when you are practicing, you are making some changes loading. So that's why in a practice session, you can always choose the truncate so that every time you can see fresh data in your target. Now I am going to run it. Okay, since this time I'll choose them. Okay, if you notice previously also we ran, but we never see an option. Okay, truncate target table. So this time I've chosen that option. Okay, knowledge module when generating the code, it understood your request. Okay, if they want to truncate data in a target table before loading, so it went and executed one statement. You can also see the code over here. Truncate table start dot fifty two. Okay, so it is nothing but whatever knowledge module you choose. Okay, this knowledge module will go and understand what is that logic you have implemented here. As per that logic, it will go and executing generating the uh, SQLs and the execute. So this will truncate. Then after that, we have another step here. It is SQL insert. insert into this one. So that's why you will always see the latest data in your target table. If you don't choose target, it will be, or you can manually choose it. Uh, it is your choice, but 
we can customize, we can make small, small changes onto the knowledge module over here. We'll go detail on the knowledge module section later.